Hey, I'm Austin with The Wild, and today we're going to take a look at the new Oculus Quest 2 and talk about why this is the most important investment for your enterprise, innovation, or design team to start collaborating in VR today. The new Quest 2 comes at an amazing price tag of $299 per headset. That is less than the average cost of one flight for business travel. When thinking about the investment for getting your team to collaborate with clients or stakeholders across the world, investing in VR is a no-brainer. Looking at the headset, it's been redesigned with a new white finish. It's kind of a soft plastic matte finish on it. And it also has their soft touch strap, as they've been called. It looks like it's just nylon, but it's actually a very stretchable material that has a customized fit in the back and top, which allows for a snug seal right in the back so you don't have as much wiggle and it brings the field of view in just a little closer than the original Quest. And right off the bat, when I look in here, the resolution is so much better than the original Quest. You have fewer jagged lines when you're looking at straight objects. And what that means is your content looks more real inside the wild. So it feels like you're actually there. So you can take a look at how it fits. Certainly feel a little goofy with a little reverse mohawk down the center. But what's important is that it's comfortable to wear for long-term sessions of designing or playing. The Quest 2 controllers have been redesigned to honestly be a little bulkier than the original touch controllers, but it does have additional surface area for you to rest your thumb so you don't accidentally hit buttons when you're moving and designing. The battery life has also been expanded to allegedly four times the original Quest controllers due to better tracking of the LED lights within the halo rooms. That's pretty awesome. One of our favorite upgrades to the Quest 2 at the Wild is that the audio is so much better in VR. So to test the audio, here I am in the Quest 1, and it's okay, it's not bad by any means, but it's still a little muddled, and it doesn't do the best job of canceling out background noise that we sometimes get when there's a lot of people in one space. And so now, here I am on the Quest 2, and immediately you can tell a difference. The treble's a little less tinny, the bass has more room to resonate, and it just does a little better job of canceling out the background noise. When you're sharing a space with multiple people, having clarity of audio is one of the most important ways to have a physical sense of presence and feel like you're actually in the same room with someone else. This is the best way to communicate in virtual reality. One of the caveats to the Quest 2 is the fact that it is required to be linked to a Facebook account to even be able to access the Oculus Store. It seems that these are priced so low that Facebook is intentionally taking a loss on them in anticipation of using this data for their business model as we've seen for their social services. There is an option for Oculus for Business, which allows you to deploy software at scale to multiple devices. And again, it doesn't have to be linked to a Facebook account. Oculus for Business might be a better choice for your team. It enhance privacy and control over content over your devices. If you look at this list here, you see that they're collecting more so quantitative data with your overall device usage, but not actually using this for targeted ads like their consumer devices. We are excited for the Quest 2 and the innovation that it's bringing to the VR industry. It brings more affordable, more powerful VR collaboration to teams like yours. 